What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about the Halloween Ends final trailer that came out today and a new image that came out yesterday courtesy of Jamie Lee Curtis who shared it over on her Instagram first I believe. So just to start off with this trailer just to kind of recap what went on in the trailer. The trailer opened with Lori's voiceover reminding us it's been four years since Michael Myers vanished from Haddonfield without a trace. We see shots of Rohan Campbell's Corey Cunningham wandering into the sewer where Michael is where Michael is at and he's saying hello as, as most fools tend to do in a horror movie right and then Michael grabs him stares at him while doing the signature head tilt slightly he didn't really do it all the way he does do it later on in the trailer we then show Lori talking with Lindsay at a bar saying she's certain she saw Michael Myers watching her from behind a tree recently we see Lori stare out a window in another shot and nothing but leaves are shown from her perspective coming across the road as they blow away in the wind during this i'm thinking perhaps Lori's efforts to kind of move on are just a front in some fashion and she hasn't completely forgotten about michael which would be smart but she also could just like have a flare-up of sorts of being the town's crazy person and no one believes her till it's too late except this time going off of what Jamie Lee, Jamie Lee herself is teased about how Lori has another distraction. This time she's crying about Corey Cunningham. And then at some point, I guess somewhere in the mix, she's convinced that maybe Michael is back too. I think that she's convinced that, I think Lori, what happens during the movie is that Lori might catch on to something not being right with Corey and then probably extends that to thinking that he's teaming up with Michael Myers somehow, maybe. So we see Allison arguing with Lori in the trailer, telling her she's obsessed with death. Corey is heard in the trailer saying, what are you going to do? We also see him when he's doing this. I'm again, assuming he's talking to Lori. What are you going to do when Michael comes back for you? Because he's coming. He's going to come back for you. Um, we see Michael walk past the radio tower. He stalks a woman who finds a body in her in her pool before running inside to her death by being pinned to a bulletin board we know we've seen this before and other images and tv spots michael tilts his head after this kill and then we're shown quick cuts of trick-or-treaters michael killing karen from halloween kills and laura reminding viewers that he killed his daughter but tonight she will kill him we then see a lot of the shots in the trailer are clearly callbacks to the original movie we also see michael kill someone at the radio tower or again that could be Corey. i didn't really take a glance to kind of study who was who and what shot i will say this it seems like the when you see clean overalls that's Corey, and dirty overalls is michael because we know michael doesn't wash his ass and then it ends with kitchen it ends in the kitchen with Lori taking michael's mask off however before this it does jump to like a sequence that i'm assuming must happen prior because she took his mask off in the sequence prior to this in the trailer where she's daring him to kill her since that's what he came here to do and then he lunges up at her with the mask still on again it could all come down to how they edited that and it's out of sequence events but it just looks it just looks cohesive because of the way the trailer is put together. All in all, I would say this was a very beautiful trailer that gets you excited. It did have like a powerful rendition of the Halloween score playing throughout to signify that this is the end of Michael Myers as we know him. It's also a final appearance for Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. So the music in the background, I think, was a very nice touch and appropriate considering the magnitude of what is coming and what this means more specifically for our time with a character like Laurie Strode and Jamie Lee Curtis's contributions to Halloween because I genuinely don't think we will see her again. Again in this series we know the character of michael myers will be back played by someone else of course i don't think we'll see james u courtney portray the shape ever again and you know this is just a final bow out for those two more specifically jamie lee curtis and what she's done as this character for over the past four decades uh so with all that in mind i will say i enjoyed the trailer i don't really think it showed anything more than just a few new things but mostly extended cuts of footage that we've seen before but now with a little bit more context added into it so if you're someone who is skeptical about checking out the trailer i can only tell you to go check it out or if you're someone who checks checked it out and, and think that they showed too much I genuinely still do not think that they showed a lot considering that there's a lot missing as it pertains to Corey and what he's doing, what's going on with Corey, how does he end up becoming this copycat killer, uh, not necessarily how, but of course the, the missing context about a bond between him and Michael that's clearly highlighted by the track title of the score or the soundtrack that's coming out. So there is an image that was shared of Kyle Richards as Lindsay Wallace because we know Kyle Richards is returning as Lindsay where she's holding like tarot cards and 
a lot of people are thinking is Lin has Lindsay been playing with these cards and she's been you know predicting the future in the past four years is that what is that what she's committed her time to since then or is this just a costume i prefer this just be a costume i really genuinely would uh i think enough supernatural stuff is is already being hinted at with michael i don't think we need to introduce anything more if they do i mean it's all again about execution it just still would be a narrative decision that i won't be in agreement with but i will commend you if you were able to execute it very well i just hope and pray that this is a costume she's wearing because from what we've seen of Lindsay, kyle richard's return is Lindsay. we saw her in i guess i guess we're gonna see her in a shot with allison and laurie in the kitchen Lori definitely will come to her in regards to her memoir. Lori clearly comes to her going off of this trailer to tell her about seeing Michael Myers. Or again, the trailer could just be shot and edited a certain way. And she's not talking to Lindsay during that. But again, it looked like Lori was sitting in the bar when she's doing this. And now Lindsay's playing with tarot cards. So did Lindsay start diving into stuff like that after what happened in Halloween 2018 Halloween Kills? Or did she start diving into that prior to this ever since what happened to her as a kid with Lori in 78? Or again, is this just a costume? I'm hoping it's just a costume because I really don't want anything else supernatural being introduced in some capacity with any other characters outside of Michael Myers. Although predicting the future, I guess you could say, isn't really supernatural uh, at all. But you guys let me know what you thought about the trailer down in the comment section below. What do you think Lindsay's role will be in Halloween Ends? Do you think she's going to have a big role? Do you think she's going to have a little role? I think viewer or non, and I don't know if I'm stating this correctly, but I think I saw somewhere. Somebody did say that Lindsay's role isn't that hefty. So she might just be, again, working at this bar. So that's a reason for us to see her a couple times, even though she has nothing really substantial to contribute to the overall narrative, which I know would be pretty disappointing for a lot of people. But let me know what you think about the trailer that came out today down in the comment section below. What do you think Lindsay's role will be as well down in the comment section below? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video